We got the media team in there. Where the media Where team? Where the media team? We got content. TV's in the go. We got TV in the go. You looking for that fire clubhouse content? Well, you need to subscribe to the home and your clubhouse TV. Let's get to the content. That's a good one. Yo, check it out. We got WAC 100 reacting to Lil Dirk and did he threaten the witnesses. Let's get to the content. Listen to what WAC talking about. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Run the content. Been the block. That's a whole lot going on, my nigga. And what even worse part about it? What if the nigga had no idea them niggas even was going to do the move? That's, the that's what I'm that's trying to catch. find out. For. I'm trying to. I'm trying to see if that's even a possibility. Cause like I was, I was, I was on some shit. Like he could, he could just blame everything on his brother. But I think his brother. I mean, I just found out his brother passed this far. He's dead. He, he got killed. Home. Yeah, he he got killed before he, before dude came home. So, but you know that they tried to tie his brother to the uh, to the duck. They tied. The, they were trying to tie his brother to that shit. So they so say, hey, records of uh, uh, payments or some shit, some shit about niggas supposed to get paid from from his brother buying the duck shit. Nah, end of the day, I think his brother was already dead. Oh no, his brother was already dead. Yeah, that, that's, yeah that's, that's, we, we, we looked it up. We looked, yeah, I, I looked it up. I mean, I had, his brother died in twenty one. Dude came home in twenty two, so can't can't go that route. Uh -uh. Can't do that at all. I really believe him, nigga. I, I don't think he's gonna set that up while he out there. Dang, it, you know what I'm saying? It don't sound right, bro. It don't sound real. It sounds Not while like he out be there, nigga. I'm idiot. out here. Go set this hit up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you got to be. You got to be an idiot, bro. But man, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, not too smart. Trying to give him the benefit of the doubt, though, bro. I don't know, because I saw that interview. That interview was the um that shit came that out. That shit with academics, bro. That shit with academics was he was he was he was flexing a little bit on the academic shit. The shit hit. No, different. I'm not talking about him. I'm talking about the OTF jam, nigga. He, he had the interview. You came out in 23? No, yeah, yeah, yeah that, that after the boy got killed? Yeah, that was after the boy got yeah, killed in 22. And then he did that interview, and that's when he was saying Dirk gave him the money, 50K, when he got out the car and shit like that. Uh, but, wait, hold on, hold on. Oh, go. In the block. We, we talking about the nigga, the, the, the rat. Yeah. yeah, the OTF Jam one. Yeah, but he, he, um, so, he, he was home when the, when the murder happened. That's what I thought. I thought he got out early 22 and the murder happened late 22. So was it nigga That's... home or no? Hold on. Hey, does he even have something to do with that or was he just... I don't know if he was there Did he not. just witness this shit? Like, did he, did he just inform on the shit? You feel I what I'm saying? I don't know. I can't like, it don't sound it like he was... had nothing to do with it. It sounded like he just told him. When did that nigga get out? I heard 22. I don't know. I don't uh, know I'm going to look it up. I'm going to look all this up right now. But hold on, so Dirk was doing this shit off his regular phone? Dirk ain't did shit. Well, I'm, what I'm talking about, when they said they got uh, had the phone tap, like... What, nah, well, I don't think they got no... no. They ain't got him talking about none of this shit. Oh, no okay. Nigga saying, don't type my name in front of the rooms of travel. Oh, flights, yeah. Well, you know that that could go anywhere. Oh, that could go either way. Chuck said, "Wait, Chuck said that the, that that ain't really tied to him. The, uh -huh. the, the, the shit that was purchased wasn't even ain't even really tied to him on some shit. It tied to a nigga that's tied to him. Well, maybe that's what I'm saying. Maybe that's the route they took. But I'm not looking at that no kind of way because." Niggas be doing that because niggas be running up bills and rooms and shit. Exactly. You know what I'm exactly. 
and like two days before before he had got locked up, he had he had put on his Instagram and he lost all his phone. Yeah, so man, he flew to Cali the day before too. What you say? Dirk was on the private jet with Grant when they you flew to Cali from Miami to, uh, the day before the murder. He flew out there with him. He was on the jet too. Yeah, him and Vonnie, they always together. Mm-hmm. Dirk on the jet, Vonnie on the jet. Mm-hmm. That's like seeing Birdman and the homie. You see one, you're going to see the other. Yeah. <laughs> talking about Beasley. What do you feel about the Wendy? Um, yeah. And the thing. Are you talking about, uh, you, see, you said Vonnie what? Yeah, Vonnie always. You see Dirk. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah Vonnie always. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they flew out the day before. Crazy. So how you feel about the with the the paperwork saying that um, that they were intimidating witnesses and OTF family members and shit like that? But who was though? Is that they said that they were receiving threats? Uh, pretty much they said they were receiving threats, so they left their name off of the affidavit for safety concerns. Family members of who though? OTF members. But what that got to do with Beverly Hills? They're pretty much saying in the complaint that Dirk ordered, the paperwork reads that he ordered it. That's what they believe. And they're saying, <clears throat> so they give the whole rundown um, in the complaint of how they feel it took place and why they grabbed him up at the airport. You know, it was an emergency thing. They, they filed it over the phone because he... <laughs> Was, yeah, uh, but they really wasn't going to grab him up. They grabbed him up because they thought he was finished. Yeah, yeah. They got him at the airport. It says it on the complaint. They called him. He was in the airport, actually. No, they called him at the private. Probably in open locker. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, was, I think it was taken off at 9. They called him, like, at 8-something. Yeah, that's like going to the liquor like store, dude. That shit that big. They grabbed him just in case he, he decided not to come back. Yeah. Exactly. That's a feeling. They call your name. Excuse me, such and such, and there you go. Mm. So you saying the family's a hoodo? Some of the all them niggas were still good, wasn't it? Nah, no, whack. It's still uh, looking at the indictment. It's the alleged witnesses that they interviewed that they're saying now the um, witnesses from lives. Chicago. It doesn't say. It just says witnesses from the um from the indictment. It just says saying, some interviews. Like, Sorry, remember this shit happened in California. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. So Tracking. this hearsay witnesses. Yeah, they're saying that they uh they've been contacted in attempts to influence their participation in the investigation. Uh, so this got to be witnesses tied to the people that was in California. Got to be their family. Got to be. I don't know. Who else would nigga like? This shit didn't happen know. in Chicago. Yeah. So it got to be tied to the niggas that was there. Thank Change the face. Mm-hmm. Unless, you know, unless somebody didn't win. I don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, unless we talking about other crimes that was reported outside of this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know that, they, uh, it didn't say who. It just says... Uh, it reads, I know that witnesses and or their family members have already received threats and and or have been contacted in what appear to be attempts to influence their participation in this investigation. In the day, they can write all kind of shit. Mm-hmm. Okay, we do know we come down to the witnesses. Go see what they, see, what they stand with. That nigga thug had all kind of witnesses. So mm-hmm. everything I've been reading just two days, the jam nigga, so he got released in 2022, and then the shooting happened in August of 2022. I want to say. What month did he get released on? 
I can't find no no information on that. I've been looking. No? Did no. you look up release date? Yeah. Hey, Eric, I put the um, dirt complaint in the chat. It's heavily redacted, though. But we, should, we, can speak, we can break it down, though. So it says, this affidavit is made in support of a criminal complaint and arrest warrant against Dirk Banks, also known as Lil Dirk, a.k.a. Mustafa Abdul Malik, for a violation of 18 U.S.C. 1958A, conspiracy to use interstate facilities to commit murder for hire resulting in death. The facts set forth in this affidavit are based upon my personal observations, my training experience and information obtained from various law enforcement personnel and witnesses. This affidavit is intended to show merely that there is sufficient probable cause for the requested complaint and warrant and does not purport to set forth all of my knowledge or investigation into this matter. Um, Banks is the leader of Chicago rap, uh, Chicago based rap collective known as Only the Family or OTF. In addition to OTF status as a rap collective, I know based on the investigation that OTF also acts as an association in fact of individuals who engage in violence, including murder and assault at the direction of banks and to maintain their status in OTF. For example, based on evidence collected during the investigation, including the interview of witnesses, I know that banks put a monitor. It's a number by the witnesses, by the way, with a cliff note I'm going to read after this sentence. It says, I know that Banks put a monetary bounty out for an individual with whom Banks was feuding named TB. And the cliff note reads, due to safety concerns, this affidavit does not provide the identity of these witnesses. Based on the FBI's investigation, I know that witnesses and or their family members have already received threats and or have been contacted in what appear to be attempts to influence their participation in the investigation. As detailed below, on August 19, 2022, multiple OTF members and associates used two vehicles and worked in tandem to track, stalk, and attempt to murder TB at a gas station located in Los Angeles, California. The co-conspirators fired at least 18 rounds at TB's vehicle, striking and killing SR, TB's family member who traveled with, uh, who was traveling with TB. On October 17, 2024, a grand jury sitting in the Central District of California returned an indictment charging five co-conspirators, Kayvon London Grant, DeAndre Dontrell Wilson, Keith Jones, David Brian Lindsay, and Asa Houston with crimes arising from the murder, including murder for hire and conspiracy to commit, commit murder for hire, resulting in death and violation of 18 U.S.C. 1958A. Banks is identified as co-conspirator one in the indictment, which is incorporated here by reference. Based on the investigation and as described below, evidence shows that Banks ordered TB's murder and that the hitman used Banks and OTF related finances to carry out the murder. For example, bank and flight records show that an OTF member and close associate of Banks, co-conspirator three, coordinated and paid for Jones, Lindsay, Wilson, Houston, and another OTF member co-conspirator two to travel from Chicago to California on the day before the murder. Co-conspirator three paid for the flights using a credit card linked to banks and OTF. Around the time that co-conspirator three purchased the co-conspirator's flights to California. iCloud records show that a phone number associated with banks texted co-conspirator three, don't book no flights under no names involved with me. Additionally, on the same day the hitman traveled to California from Chicago, Banks also traveled to California with another co-conspirator on a private jet. Later that day, Grant, which was the co-conspirator referenced in a private jet, purchased ski masks for the shooters to use to commit the murder and pay for other co-conspirators' hotel rooms using a credit card in Banks' name. Earlier this morning, October 24, 2024, Federal and local law enforcement executed search warrants at locations associated with OTF members in and around the Chicago area and arrested Grant, Wilson, Jones, Lindsay, and Houston. After executing the warrants, the FBI learned that banks had been booked on at least three international flights scheduled to leave the United States today. When banks arrived near one of the departing airports, he was arrested by law enforcement personnel. 
Based on my training and experience, my personal involvement in this investigation, conversations with other law enforcement officers, witness statements, and a review of report, the documents prepared by law enforcement officers, I am aware of the following. A, Chicago-based hitman traveled to Los Angeles to murder a rival of banks. On October 17, 2024, a grand jury returned an indictment charging Grant Wilson, Jones, Lindsay, and Houston with murder for hire and conspiracy to commit murder resulting in the death of SR. And discharge of firearms and machine gun and furtherance of a crime of violence resulting in death. The grand jury also charged Jones with possession of a machine gun as a result of the indictment on August 19, 2022. SR and others, including SR's family member, TB, a rap artist known as QR, were near their vehicles at a gas station across from the Beverly Center in Los Angeles when three gunmen opened fire on a vehicle, killing SR. Law enforcement personnel subsequently recovered 18 shell casings from the murder scene. At the time of the murder, TB had a public feud with Banks, aka Lil Dirk. Banks is a Chicago-based gang member and leader of the rap collective known as Only the Family or OTF. The feud stemmed from a November 6, 2020 murder, where an associate of TB shot and killed an OTF rapper named Davon Bennett, aka King Von. Bennett was a member of OTF and Banks' close friend. According to open source reporting and witnesses, Banks placed a monetary ba uh, bounty on TB's life. Based on the investigation to date, including open source research, my training and experience investigating gangs and violent crime and witness statements, OTF is a hybrid organization that functions as a Banks-led music collective and gang. Based on the investigation to date, including conversations with other law enforcement agents and witness statements, Houston and Wilson are associated with OTF, and Lindsey and Jones are associated with other gangs in Chicago. The, uh, B, the hitman travel using funds linked to banks. I know the following based on my review of LAPD police reports, surveillance footage, bank and flight records, witness statements and homicide detectives from the LAPD and federal investigators involved in this case that on August 18, 2022, the day before SR's murder, OTF members learned of the location of TB from a longtime OTF affiliate co-conspirator 4. After OTF members learned this, the following men took a one-way flight from Chicago to San Diego. Jones, Lindsey, Wilson, Houston, and co-conspirator 2. The one-way tickets to San Diego were purchased using an American Express credit card and again 2039 and in the name of co-conspirator three, who is also associated with OTF and banks. Based on records from Apple, I know that on that same day, a number ending in 9595, believed to be associated with banks, sent a text message to co-conspirator three stating, don't book no flights under no names involved with me. Based on review of hotel records, I know that Grant rented and paid for a room at the Sheridan Hotel, uh, Universal Hotel in Universal City, California on August 18, 2022, using an American Express uh, card and bank's name, and again, 1015. Jones, Lindsay, Wilson, Houston, and co-conspirator two stayed at the hotel the night before the co-conspirator's track stalked and attempted to kill TB. Based on my review of bank records, I know the 2039s and 1015 credit cards were issued under an account belonging to OA and Astronaut Sounds LLC. Based on public information, I know that OA was Banks manager in or around 2022. Georgia Secretary of State online corpor uh, corporation records show that uh, Astronaut Sounds LLC was, was initially, initially registered by OA in 2017. A request of amendment was filed in 2021 and a new manager, Banks, was added to the business. The bank records also show that the Astronaut Sounds American Express account had four credit cards issued to four individuals. Banks, co-conspirator three, Banks' father, DB, and OA. Based on my review of records from a private airplane company, I know that Banks and Grant flew on the same airplane from Los Angeles to Miami on August 16, 2022, and back to Los Angeles on August 18, 2022, the day before S SR's murder. 
Records from a rental property show that bank's manager, OA, rented a house in Encino, California from J July 1st, 2022 to October 1st, 2022. Based on investigators' review of photographs of the interior of the Encino rental, I know that video footage from an August 18, 2022 podcast shows the host of the podcast with Banks, wherein Banks appears to be inside the Encino house. On the day of the murder, August 19, 2022, surveillance video shows TB, SR, and others leave their hotel in Los Angeles and enter a black Cadillac Escalade. Surveillance video uh, taken from numerous locations throughout the Los Angeles throughout Los Angeles, including TB's hotel and the gas station where the murder occurred showed that the two vehicles followed the Escalade for hours leading up to the shooting. One vehicle was a white BMW, Murder Vehicle 1, and the other was a white Infinity, Murder Vehicle 2. Among other things, surveillance video show, uh, from the murder scene shows Murder Vehicle 2 parked in the alley behind the gas station where three shooters wearing black ski masks exited the vehicle later identified as Jones, Lindsay, and co-conspirator 2, walked to the gas station and opened fire on the Escalade. The shooters then ran back to the murder vehicle 2 and drove away. Murder vehicle 1 drove away from the area just minutes before the shooting. Approximately 50 minutes after the shooting, surveillance video from an In-N-Out restaurant in Los Angeles shows Grant, Jones, and Wilson arrive in murder vehicle 1, the video also shows Lindsay and co-conspirator 2 arrive at the In-N-Out in a black SUV. Based on comparison of surveillance video showing the murder to vi uh, showing the murder to video from the In-N-Out restaurant, law enforcement identified that uh, Lindsay Jones and co-conspirator 2 were the individuals who opened and fi who opened fire and killed SR. A few hours after the shooting, Jones, Lindsay Wilson, and Houston and co-conspirator 2 boarded a flight from San Diego to Chicago. Once again, the credit card in the name of co-conspirator three was used to pay for the one-way tickets. C, banks books multiple international flights after law enforcement arrested multiple co-conspirators and executed search warrants at locations associated with OTF members. In the early hours of October 24, 2024, law enforcement arrested Grant Jones, Lindsey Wilson, and Houston and executed multiple search warrants in the Chicago area, including a warrant to search the home of co-conspirator three. Shortly after making these arrests and ex executing the search warrants on October 24, the FBI received notifications from U.S. Customs and Border Protection showing that banks have been booked as a passenger on two international flights, a one-way flight from Miami to Dubai, connecting from Doha, Qatar, scheduled to depart the evening of October 24th, and a one-way flight from Fort Lauderdale to Switzerland, connecting via New Jersey, also scheduled to depart on an evening of October 24th. Banks did not board either flight. And there's some cliff notes here. Next to Banks did not board either flight. The cliff note is extradition to and from the United States overview of the law and contemporary treaties congressional uh, research service all right so it says that approximately 6 40 p.m eastern time the fbi received an additional cbp notification that uh, banks had been booked as a passenger on a private plane departing miami and destined for italy scheduled to depart at approximately 9 p.m eastern time at approximately 8 p.m. Eastern Time, Banks was arrested by law enforcement in the vicinity of the departing airport. For all of the reasons described above, there is probable cause to believe that Banks violated 18 U.S.C. 195A conspiracy to use interstate facilities to commit murder for hire, resulting in death. Yeah, man, that that, that complaint says a lot. Please to take them damn keys. They took it back. Yeah. You can't have no key back. They, they took it back. They yeah, they, they took the back. key back. You, they took the key back, back. So they asked him, what was they going to do with the 150000 that he donated to them? And they danced around that. Oh, oh, yeah, you know, they eat that. oh good question, my nigga. That's why. They donated 150000 Get my money back. The mayor's office or whatever. Yep, just joking. I'm going to need that back. Like your key. They took the key back? What the? Yeah, they took it back. A I dropped on your key. Seriously? Wait, so he got the key because of the 150? 
The work in the community. Oh. Well, y'all want y'all key back from me my check. And they ended the partnership with his foundation. The murder for hire plot back in 2022. The FBI says he was arrested while trying to flee the country. Investigators believe Lil Durk put out a hit on another rapper, Quando Rondo, in retaliation for the earlier murder of Chicago rapper King Von. Rondo's cousin also died in a shooting at a Los Angeles gas station caught on camera. Several of Lil Durk's associates have also been arrested in connection with this same plot. Last week, Lil Durk was celebrated by two West suburban mayors. They even gave the rapper keys to their villages and partnered with his foundation. Now, after his arrest, one of those mayors is backtracking. Our Charlie DeMar has the story from Bellwood. The mayor here in Bellwood says he won't take back the key to his village until the legal process plays itself out. Meanwhile, in Broadview, the mayor there wasting no time and has already withdrawn the key to her community. Dirk Banks, or Lil Dirk, was honored and celebrated last week with keys to the villages of Bellwood and Broadview. And so on behalf of the village of Broadview, we are honored to present this key to the city, to Dirk Banks Neighborhood Heroes. Both mayors were on hand for the ceremony and took time to pose for pictures. A partnership with the Rappers Foundation was announced in front of students from both communities. It, this is a momentous occasion to have Lil Dirk with us in our communities. We, we want to give another round of applause. But the symbolic gesture was met with backlash even before news of Lil Durk's latest arrest on murder for hire charges. So are we glorifying that or are we saying that that's okay? He's not even from this, he's from the south side. Broadview Mayor Katrina Thompson defended her decision to give Lil Durk the key to the village at a board meeting earlier this week. I am a mayor and I'm proud to have made that connection. It just doesn't send the best message to our residents, to our community. Angela Patterson is running for mayor in Broadview. Janelle Moreland is the current village clerk in Bellwood and a mayoral candidate. You know, so what about the people that have been active in our communities, that have done, done some great things in our communities? After Lil Durk was arrested in Florida, Broadview's mayor withdrew the honor, saying in part, as mayor, protecting Broadview's interests and upholding the values of residents is job number one. I do think it's too late. I think we should have not given him the key from the very beginning. Bellwood's mayor says he was surprised to learn of Lil Durk's arrest, but is not ready to take away the key, saying we live in the United States of America where the accused is innocent until proven guilty. You think Mayor Harvey should have taken the key back? Absolutely. Absolutely. At least it would show my concern for my community, right? Um, at least it would show, like, I don't condone this. Both suburban mayors declined an on-camera interview. Reporting in Bellwood, Charlie DeMar, CBS News, Chicago. Lil Dirk donated $150,000 to Mayor Brandon Johnson's campaign, and when the mayor was asked if he would return the money, this is what he said. What will you, mayor, what will you do with the money? Well, as, as I said, um, right now we have allegations, right, that he has not been tried. The mayor went on to say Lil Durk has been instrumental in helping children in Chicago. Yo, he, he, he straight, he straight dodged that question, but for that. But did he only did donate to them or did he donate to the other one too? That's what I want to know. It, it sounds like only to him they're, they're saying, but, 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 but here's the thing. Now the woman is being emotional. So it had to be a woman. Listening to the hell been on is a murder for hire for Quando Rondo, and it's a it's crazy that them niggas hit the wrong niggas. So see, that might be in some defense. Like, is it was it really a murder for her? Because the nigga Quando Rondo, quote unquote, was supposed to be like a famous nigga or whatever. So how you hit the wrong nigga? That's if that's the story. If that's the real story, that they hit the wrong person. It sound like it it it, 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 it might have not. It, it could be a case that it wasn't. Shot the ball. You ain't got killers. You got the difference between shooters and killers, my nigga. Mm. So they saying that they spread, or oh, so they, they spread, they spread the code. They, they yeah. That direction. I didn't know it was like a uh, nigga was dead in the back seat. Shooters just shoot. The killers go for it. Get they talk. Yeah. Niggas have switches and all kinds of. Shit. That's the shooter. 
That don't mean nothing. It's your but they didn't walk up on the car, though. They shot from like 20, 30 feet away. They didn't botch this thing up. Because ordinarily, Dirk would have been on that indictment list, you know? We'll find out next week. We got 30 days. If they do indict him, it's going to be bad. It's bad for him. So they said if they do it like sooner, sooner than the thirty days, that means they got something for show, for show, for show. How do they got thirty days, bro? Like nigga, shit, thirty days is thirty days. Nigga. That's all that mean to niggas that didn't did time. You got thirty days is to do what you're gonna do. They can do it on the first day, tenth day, thirtieth day, nigga. Shit. If they don't do it, that's all that matters. That jam, nigga, though they they can't nobody find him no more. He a big part of that 30 days. Hey, OG, how a nigga go off the map like that? Mean, Just being locked oh. up, because I thought they were saying he was in PC, and then the nigga said that they, that they moved him in all kinds of I ain't heard nothing since then. I'm like, where to move a nigga like that to? Bro, the, uh, the law know what they do. That's the law, nigga. Oh, okay, I got you, I got you, I got you. That nigga Franco, boy. That's the one. Gonna jump out the Is he window, locked right? up? Nah. Wait, who, who you asking about? Damn. Yeah, he locked up. Oh, they got he locked up. Okay. He been locked up. He ain't never not not been locked up. No, they were saying he got released in 2022, and then that interview I saw and he was caught like, a gun case, and he been locked up since he caught the gun case. Hmm. Okay. He ain't been on the street. Nigga did 12 years, came on, caught a gun case, been in there. Oh, that was going to be my next question. So when when did he uh, catch the gun case? <clears throat> Couldn't been too far after. He ain't been out since he caught it. Damn, ain't nobody find nothing. Nigga, that's the law, nigga. When they want you to be ghost, you ghost. Clubhouse, Clubhouse TV. TV. Clubhouse CV. 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 So y'all heard the content, man, and. Like I said, this story is getting water by the minute. Um, certain things are coming out, but then other certain things aren't coming out. Like the wiretap. I mean, there's information on social media that there was a wiretap. But nowhere in the paperwork or complaint doesn't say anything about a wiretap. So, where are they getting information regarding that from? Now, I hope Dirk wasn't dumb enough to threaten the witnesses that were in California at the time. Now, this is crazy because how does Dirk know who the witnesses were? Like, I'm sure there were people at the gas station um, around that seen what happened. But, again, how would Dirk know who those witnesses are? They're just regular, everyday citizens. So, what witnesses are they talking about? As far as Quando Rondo, you can definitely understand and see why now he denounced his flag. Because, like I said, he got almost unalive with his cousin and his little sister with him. So I'm sure that's very traumatic. And he felt that another rolling 60 back door him. So that's why he said he wasn't with the gang life no more and was done with it. So like I said, the story is getting crazier by the minute. And uh, I don't know, man, these lyrics and these songs hit different now. It's like, did this dude, Dirk, really do this? Because now, 
The music definitely hits different. But uh, I'll be sure to bring y'all all the content you already know. Clubhouse TV on the job. I got y'all. Is uh, Do me a favor. Let me know what y'all think about this content in the comments. Any questions or suggestions, let me know. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you're always on alert when I drop fresh new content. Subscribe to the media team so we can get you the exclusive Black 100 content. As always, I certainly appreciate y'all. I'll see y'all in the next drop. I'm out. Peace.